Hello, this video is going to show you how to pull real estate home sales data from Zillow. So the first thing we're going to do is just going to verify that all the, the packages that we need are installed. <coughs> That's where I'm going to run this and uh, I'm going to um, also put a link in, in the description to all the packages that are needed. Uh, all right, and then let's go ahead and activate all the packages. Make sure that we have a, a clean environment to work in. Disable scientific notation using this options function. All right. <coughs> and we're actually going to be uh, going to Zillow.com uh, forward slash research forward slash data. So it's actually it's this page right here. So there's a lot of different data types that, that you can pull. So we're going to pull it directly into, into our studio. All right, so we're just going to use read CSV, the name uh, of the link, uh, header set header to true, and strings as factors of false. All right, and now you have uh, the sales data already in your um, in your environment so we could look at it so it gives you uh, data per county on a monthly basis All right so it starts in two for 2000 March 2008 that's a start and it goes all the way to February or March 2020 <coughs> alright so now that we have the data uh, we're gonna just use quickly uh, we're going to remove a couple columns that we don't need. All right, so we're going to remove region ID and size rank. And we'll call this uh, sales2. So you can see now we have 147 columns instead of 149. And now we're going to use the gather function because we want to get all those, right now, the monthly uh, sales numbers. Uh, they're uh, every column. Uh, is a or every month is a is its own column, and we want to actually just have one variable, uh, or uh, we want to make those into two columns, one for months and the other for sales. So put it in a tidy format. So we're going to use the gather function, and it starts on the third on the third column, and we want to say n column sales two. So that way uh, when the data updates, uh, you know, more uh, months are added to the to this file right here from Zillow. It's going to automatically go all the way uh, to 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 the end of the data set. All right. So now that we did that, now we have only five columns instead of 149. All right, so now let's go ahead and we're going to remove, as you can see here, we have an X in front of every uh, every date. So let's go ahead and remove that using the str replace function. All right, and we want to make it, so if we go here, we can see that this month is a character. We want to switch this to a date uh, in order to plot it. All right, so we're going to use the YMD uh, function. All right, you can see now it's a date. And we're going to select uh, the county, right? So I live in Los Angeles County. So we're going to say your county equals to Los Angeles County, California. Right, and you could change it to whatever county you want. And let's go ahead and make a plot. So it'd be just sales two. And then we're going to filter by our own county. And then just set the GG plot, right, using the GG plot two uh, package. And we're going to plot uh, month versus uh, and sales. All right. And just remember here also, I am going to put a link uh, so you can uh, you'd be able to copy uh, all of this code. Uh, by clicking on the link below. All right, and then we have here Los Angeles County. 
So you can see there was a couple, there was a, a dip like around 2008, 2009, another dip like around 2012, and now it's been just shooting up like crazy. All right, and maybe we want this in a table format as well. So you can see here, the median um, sale, home sales price in Los Angeles County is uh, 639900 All right, and like I said, you could change this to, to any other county. Uh, and also, if you, on the link, I'm also going to put, I, I did uh, put this code into an RShiny app, uh, so you'll be able to view that as well. All right, please leave any questions in the, in the comments below, and uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you.